Well, I like one of the pizza, please. Here's your pizza Pringle, sir. Your pizza Pringle, sir. It's pizza time! Pizza time. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. It has been a bit since we've done one of these weird and disgusting food videos. So I thought, hey, we should do one again. That'd be fun. Also, I'm feeling a little bit hungry right now. And you know what I'm hungry for? I'm hungry for pizza! But I don't have any pizza with me. I do fortunately have an abundance of pizza flavored chips and snack items. Of course, for this video, as always, we're going to be ranging it from tastiest to the least tasty. I feel like compared to some of our previous weird, disgusting food videos, this one will have probably more actual good chips and snacks versus bad. But I know for a fact towards the end, it's going to get really bad. The thing I have for the end of this video is without question going to be the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten on this channel. Not even, not even close. I'm really not looking forward to that. Let's just pretend like I, that's not going to happen and move in to the first item. Pringles chips. Pringles chips. Get the pizza one. This is a classic. Everybody, I mean, go ahead. Just, I know you're going to do it anyway, but go ahead and like the video for pizza Pringles. Actually, I don't really like pizza Pringles that much. Personally, I think I prefer barbecue Pringles and sour cream and onion Pringles a little bit, but the, you know, the pizza ones are fine, right? They're fine. Wow, would you look at that? It's a pizza Pringles. How oh, it's bursting. It's freaking bursting, dude. I don't like this redesign. It's just like too modern. Bring back the old design Pringles. Oh my god. Give me a pop. Give me a pop. Once you pop, you just can't stop popping over and 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 over. Love that commercial. Pringles pizza. All right, yeah. Nope, it's pizza Pringles. There's barely any flavor on these though. I can't even really taste it. They're cheaping out on the on the flavor, on the seasoning today. I'm gonna call my local Domino's and complain. Uh, my pizza Pringles don't have much flavor on them. Can uh, I please get a different one? Thank you. Can't believe I tipped the driver. Oh my God. Didn't even get good pizza Pringles. Yeah, honestly, these just taste like regular Pringles. There's barely any seasoning on them. But I do remember what they taste like. I just figured, you know, you can't have a pizza uh, chips video and not have pizza Pringles, right? I still vouch for my previous take that other flavors of Pringles are better. I actually have another pizza Pringles flavor. That one's a little weirder though, so we're gonna save it. This is from Japan. This is Kalbi Pizza uh, Big. Big. Pizza flavored chips. They're big. Can you believe that? They're as big as my head. So I think this is like uh, cheese and pepperoni flavor. Oh no, there's tomatoes on it too. Who knows? Blood? <laughs> it said blood. Why? For melty cheesy milk. But this is, oh, sapote, big. <laughs> melty cheese with the defrag. The only sin. So they have cheese flavored flakes on there. I thought those things were just like for show. Are they actually like cheese droplets? Droplets on it? I don't know, we'll see. Also, I have to go ahead and just apologize to Toasty for this entire video, the editor of this channel, by the way, if you didn't know that, which you should. Yeah, Toasty's not a fan of cheese. He's actually actively disgusted by cheese. There's gonna be a lot of cheese looking things in this video. In fact, one coming up, Forces me out and I, I like cheese and I want to vomit when I look at it, but we'll get there later. All right, let's try these. I assume these are going to be good. Ooh, kind of a strange smell. Huh, I'm not sure what to think of that. Get a little shot inside the bag there. Can you see it? Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. Oh yeah, what the heck? There's actual like cheesy bits on it. It's not gross. Toasty, look at that. Look at that, Toasty. Get that nasty that. out of my face! I, I guess I'm eating that. It doesn't look so good though. It doesn't smell like pepperoni at all. It mostly smells like weird cheese. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not like terrible. It's just weird. And it doesn't taste at all like pizza. There's even more cheese on this one. Look at that. No, I'm good. It's like actual cheddar cheese or something that just like got dribbled onto the chips a little bit while it was like going through the factory. I don't know. It's not disgusting, but it's not good. It doesn't taste anything like I expected. It doesn't taste at all like pizza. That's surprisingly disappointing. I thought this would be potentially be like the best one, but kind of a dud to be honest. So far, the two ones I thought would be the best 
didn't like very much. <laughs> so let's go on to the next one. Hers Deep Dish Pizza. These are kind of like Cheeto puffs or something, I guess. I had never heard of this brand before. I just sort of found it when I was looking online. Flavored Cheese Curls. I saw people talking about this brand online. Anyone in the comments? Have you had hers? Is it any good? The chairman does personally guarantee that we'll enjoy it though, so. He better be right. I will ask for my money back, Mr. Her. Don't dare me. That's good. Mmm. That's good. It has like a nice instant flavor and it does actually sort of taste like pizza. It doesn't just like taste like Cheetos. It definitely has a distinct almost kind of pizza flavor to it. And then a nice herby aftertaste. I will not be asking for a refund, Mr. Her. Thank you. And I, I'm actually really glad that I, li I like these because I thought I was just ordering one bag, but it came with like 20 little bags. So I've got lots of hers left over. Mm, that's good. I want to eat another one, but I got a lot of a lot more stuff to eat here. Hers! I'm a fan! You give it up. Crispy pizza pretzel. They're like pizza sticks or pretzels. I'm good at commentary and I'm good at my job. Super crunchy pretz. Unami that pops every time you chew. I don't really like unami, but or unami is the seaweed stuff, right? I think so. Uh, I'm not sure. Crispy, crispy pizza. Enjoyed for a long. A uh, 100 people who can enjoy for a long time. Depending on the weight of each bottle. So yeah, this is a Japanese snack, uh, and it seems like they have some strange way they want me to open it here. Let's see if I can manage with one hand. I did it. Got it. Now what? Oh, it's supposed to come out like like French fries or something. You know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna open it. This is the American way to do it. So these could be good. I don't see why they would necessarily be disgusting or anything. They are a little bit weird though. I've never seen like a pizza pretzel. They're very thin. Look at that. Super thin. Don't smell good. They actually really don't. Whew. What does pizza taste like in Japan? Because that. <laughs> I'm not smelling pizza with any of these Japanese chips yet. I mean, I guess to be fair, most of the pizza stuff in Japan in the US doesn't really taste like pizza either. Pizza's such a great flavor of food. It's it's one of the best kinds of food you can eat. So can you really just make artificial pizza flavor? I mean, yeah, you can, but it might be hard. It feels like this is like a uh, toothpick. What? What is that flavor? That's not pizza. It does a little bit taste like tomato. Ugh, I don't think I like it. Actually, yeah, I don't like that at all. The aftertaste is really bad. I, I, what is with this? Like the Japanese snacks, are the, this pizza flavors of the Japanese snacks are really disappointing so far. This is barely a morsel of food and I do not want to eat another one. It, it does show like a raw tomato almost in like basil on the box. I guess I sort of taste tomato and basil, but it does not taste like pizza and it's not good. Blech. That's the worst one so far somehow. I really was expecting these to be mostly good, but so far, it, except for the, except for hers, they've been duds, dude. All right, well, let's go back to something American. Well, actually this is not American, I forgot. It's also Japanese, but it is Pringles. So it's a, it's a, Oh, this is gonna be bad too, isn't it? This is Napoli pizza, Japanese pizza flavored Pringles. So I don't know, these just like the American version of the pizza Pringles. Maybe they'll taste exactly the same. I don't know. It could just be a different branding. We'll see. You get the, the pizza going onto the chip, going onto the cheese, going onto the, what is that at the bottom? Is that, is that dough? I don't know what that is. Toasty, zoom in on the cheese. Zoom in on that cheese. You disgust me. How can you live with yourself? <gasps> Doesn't smell too bad, which is good. Dude, the Japanese Pringles, I swear they're different. Here's an American Pringle. Here's a Japanese one. They're smaller and they almost don't even seem like the same brand. To be honest, it doesn't smell like much of anything. Kind of just smells like cardboard. Some of the Pringles that I've tasted, they, they don't really have a smell. So I feel like I'm just smelling the box or like the tube. All right, let's see. Tastes like cardboard too. The heck? Why are none of these good? It tastes like cardboard with a little cheese on it. Let me just like lick some of the flavor out or something. I need a new one. Whoa, jeez. Barely tastes like anything. Not great though. Whatever it tastes like, it's not great. Dude, this sucks. I was hungry and none of these are good. I'm just gonna eat the rest of this hers. Hers, come back to me. Come back to me, baby. I think I'm gonna be sick. Mm. Now that's how you make a uh, pizza chip. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my god, we're getting closer to the one that I don't want. I do not want to eat it. I am not looking forward to this one either because this one looked the most disgusting and it's another Japanese chip and I haven't liked any of the Japanese ones so far. Pizza potato! Says it right up there at the top. Pizza potato. Uh, yeah, this is the one I was talking about, Toasty. Look at that. Even I don't think that looks good. If I got a piece of pizza and the cheese was like melting out of it like that, I wouldn't, uh, I don't know. It, it, it just seemed a little unnatural. But also this one has like this weird herb looking cheese on it, which is not a good sign. And also, what is that? Is that like a or on the top, it kind of looks like buffalo sauce, but I really doubt that's what it is. Some kind of oil or aioli with like goopy, disgusting looking melted cheese coming out of it. It has that same kind of thing where it's like, oh look, there's actual cheese on top of the chip, but I don't know if I really want that. And then it has like some like Swiss looking, cheddar looking cheese, like some kind of herby cheese, which is gonna have a very strange aftertaste. I can already call it. Uh, and then whatever that one is right there, was that, was that brie or something? I hope it's not brie, because that would be gross as hell. Honey cheese flavor? Honey cheese flakes? Doesn't sound good. Ugh. Blue cheese, dude, blue cheese flavors. I don't really like blue cheese on much. Maybe a salad, but it's just such a strong flavor. Anytime I've had artificial snacks that have blue cheese flavor on it, it is always just god awful. For cheese lovers, a little more mature Visa potato. Melty cheese and honey, oh, it's gonna, this is not gonna be good at all. This is like my dinner too. I'm disappointed. Let's open it. It actually does not smell good. So I got one that has the most honey cheese flake things I can find. You can kind of see them. They look just like little stains on the chip, really. <sighs> bon appetit. Oh, the aftertaste is bad. It's so weird. I honestly was not expecting to like not like most of these. I thought it was just gonna kind of work the way it was work its way up to this last one and the one after that. The one after that. Oh. <laughs> I don't even want this. These are these are bad. They're just not good. They, it has like a brie sweet cheese flavor to it, and I don't even like sweet cheese stuff in like desserts or anything, much less in a chip that I would think would be savory, like a pizza chip. I don't. I don't know. The Japanese chips are just not hitting it for me today. I've never had pizza in Japan, but if this is what it tastes like, I don't want it. Next, we have one that I thought would be the grossest of the actual like chips. I don't even know if the next one you can call a chip. I just I can't get it out of my mind. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Focus on the moment, live in the moment. You're here, here now, you're doing fine as is. I love you, Luigi. It's only later on that terrible things will happen to you. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Garlic, pepper, pizza, potato, chips. But this doesn't look great, does it? Actual slices of garlic. I do not like when people do that. If you're one of the people that does that, I don't like it. And I don't like you either. <laughs> I like garlic flavor, but actual slices of garlic always gross me out. And look how many freaking pieces of garlic are on that pizza. I would not eat that. It can't be as bad as, like, too much worse than some of the others. Ooh, it's a very strong garlic smell. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh! It kind of smells like asparagus. <laughs> I don't know why. The more I smell, the worse, the least bad it, sm it, it smells. Yeah, definitely you have a weird kick of asparagus. All right, so there's some chips in here. Yeah, hey guys, I don't know, if you open up the bag, you'll find some chips. Wow, incredible! You can only come to the Peeps channel for this kind of quality content. Okay, so yeah, th this is the same brand as the other ones that have the, like cheese flakes on them. It seems like they're all like barely on the edge. Garlic, pepper, pizza, potato. Going in. Oof, that's a garlic. Hmm. The, f the flavor is so strong. Oh, I actually kind of felt like I was gonna vomit for a second, but it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, somehow not as bad as those other ones. The flavor is so strong. It's kind of upsetting a little bit. Upsetting, made me feel like I was gonna throw up, but not that bad. Oh. Is there anything else? Let's just bring the hers back. Hers, yeah. This video is brought to you by me who bought the hers chips. So it's almost indirectly brought to you by hers. It's not, but it, it almost is. Mm. I'm gonna crunch this up and sniff it. Are you okay? No, no, no! Mm. It's pizza tara. This is salami cheese on the dried fish.
I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to get this, but I did do that thing I just said. So this is some kind of snack that is like a crust. It's not bread, it's, it's like dried fish crust. But I mean, I can't even see the dried fish. That was the thing I was most worried about, like the dried fish, like that doesn't sound good. I don't really like seafood anyway, much less like dried fish that's like sealed in a plastic bag. But just looking at it, the cheese looks like plastic. Is this even safe to eat? I don't want to eat salami cheese on the dried fish. I don't want to do that. Why did past me think that this was gonna be a good idea for this video. Oh, I'd almost rather never eat again, to be honest. I'm gonna stall a little bit. Let's see, what does it say? Mostly it says pizza. Fish sheet. This is a fish sheet. Avoid? Avoid? <laughs> delicious. It's delicious, but avoid it. Oh, that sure is a lot of warning text in the back of this. There is a risk of fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I think I remember reading that on the description where I bought it, that you can heat it up or just eat it straight out of the pack. Or you can just throw it away. Whichever. Cut it to your liking and enjoy. When cutting, be careful not to injure your fingers with a blade. I would never do that. I don't think this is the way- Ow! Ah! I injured myself making the Arthur playset toy. So where's the expiration date? That's kind of what I'm looking for. 4-21-22. Damn. It's not spoiled yet. Oh. It's not that bad. <sighs> It's quite a sound. <laughs> it says it's dried fish. The crust doesn't really look like it. It doesn't look like bread, but I don't, it doesn't look like dried fish. But yeah, the cheese definitely looks plastic. It's like shining. Can you see the reflection of the light on the pizza? It's like reflecting off of this like plastic ass looking cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna taste a bite of it by itself. And then I think I'll like heat it up in the toaster oven too. Oh, it doesn't smell, I, sm I smell the fish. Now. This is ironic. I'm looking over there and I'm seeing myself reflected out of the Peebs 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque with the pizza in my hand. This is what it takes. This is what it takes. You want to be successful on YouTube, you little bitch? Eat the pizza! Eat the fish, plastic cheese, salami pizza! Hi, Mom. I'll start with a piece of salami that fell off. That can't be that bad, right? Open salami. Oof. I don't like salami. Even that is grossing me out. It tastes so processed. I mean, it's been in a plastic bag. God damn it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. It tastes so bad. And the fish, I'm trying to chew it, and it's, it's like fish skin. I don't know if I can swallow it. I swallowed some of it. Ugh. Not bad. <coughs> oh my god. I can't describe how bad, the, like, the cheese tastes freaking terrible. It tastes so bad and it tastes so freaking processed. And the fish crust, it's like, again, I was chewing it as much as I could, but it just stayed like solid, like a like thin layer of like fish scales or something that would just would not break down no matter how hard I chewed it. But the cheese was what was so gross. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toast this up in the toaster oven, see what it looks like. Oh, it's cooking. It's cooking, baby. Oh yeah, that plastic cheese is bubbling. You gonna zoom in on that for toasty? Oh, look at that. The plastic's cracking. It's cracking. Bizarre, how do you feel about daddy not sharing any of this fish pizza with you? How do you feel about that? Can I get a response? Can I get a response? Hey, can I get a response? You gonna have a, can I have a response? Can I have a response? Ma'am, ma'am, uh, ma'am. It looks like fine from over here. Whatever, it's probably just like some frozen beets or something. The closer you get though, look at that. Look at the cheese. It's like, it literally is plastic. Oh, it just bubbled. There's like a, a, a dry layer on the outside of it. And I feel like my phone is not even doing it justice. It's so much worse. The color is so much worse in real life. 
Ugh. Okay, this smells absolutely disgusting, and my whole room smells like this now, so really happy about that. I need to get the correct lighting on this so you can see the actual color that I'm seeing right now. It's like a golden brown. It doesn't look like the color pizza should look. I forced my wife to try a bite, and she's usually way less picky than me, and even she thought it was rancid, so it, I'm not just making it up. <laughs> Uh. I have to get a bite with the, with the salami. Uh. It just smells and tastes so processed. Like the most processed food I've ever eaten. I'm leaving.